Oh hi Jerry. How ya doing? Feeling any better today? No you were a little bit under this Saraha weather. Too damn dry these days. Must find a water hole fast. I can't get dehydrate. You're telling me? You don't know dry until you live with a neck like this. Chokes me up. We must find water. Let's go. Remember we need half of our body weight in water each day. How did you learn all the stuff you talk about Jerry? You always have something interesting and helpful to share. It makes me curious and I want to learn more. So do my friends. It is simple. I was really sick once. Felt awful. I went to the tourist's clinic in the jungle and stood outside the naturopath's office. I listened to all she said to the sick one. And, what did she say? That they were full of toxins from the foods they ate and drank. Many were dehydrated. Most were overweight. Baggage she said, emotional baggage not suitcases. Drink water she said. So you started drinking more water? Where did you find it out here in the Sahara? By the way this conversation is making me even more thirsty. Where the hell is the water? You can't see it. But there is a dark cloud over there. I think there is going to be a downpour. We need to move fast. Hurry up, shorty. Spin those stripes. Shake a leg or four. Alright, let's not get personal Jerry. Spots are not superior to stripes. Remember we are all created equally, just different expressions of life. I can teach you a few things too. Oh, I was just teasing you. I love you just the way you are. You are perfect. And I am perfect. But did you know we are about 85% water? Yes, we are. It is a fact. Holy zebra. I thought I was all muscle. That is what my mother always said. So if I am so much water, if I don't drink enough, some of me disappears. Yikes. I hope it rains soon. Yes water plumps up all our cells. It carries food and nutrients into our cells and carries toxins, or waste materials out of our cells so we can run across the fields and desert. Oh, I felt a drop of rain. I am going to stop talking and just open my mouth and catch as many raindrops as possible. I prefer clean water to muddy myself. How about you? Clean water of course. The naturopath told the tourist to filter their water. She said, either buy a filter or be the filter. I don't want to be a filter for toxins in this jungle. Me either. Where can we get a filter around here? That radiantly healthy looking female tourist with the great long legs mentioned that she had a connection. I'll do a little rubber necking and see what I can find out. Great. That is something I am not good at, rubber necking. Now, necking I can do. Not with you of course. I'd fall short of your hopes. Just could not neck your neck. No offense. You are a character. You have such a way with words. That is one of your zebra attributes. I have long beautiful legs and you are creative with your words. How nice to be different. Yes, we are different and it is a wonderful thing. We are both 85% water and yet we are incredibly different. Something to think about. What is beyond the water? Don't get too philosophical on me now stripes. Be quiet and open your mouth wide. Such a delightful rainstorm. Drink up my friend. Cheers to water. Cheers to you too.